Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video we're gonna talk about one of my favorite kickboxers of Japanese origin, Tenshin Nasukawa. Japan has a lot of amazing kickboxers. Um, I think most of uh, the people that uh, follow me on um, YouTube uh, know Masato as and um, he's also one of the most famous ones because he was a former K1 Max champion but uh, now we're gonna talk about the new generation and um, Tenshin Nazukawa um, retired already from kickboxing at 24-25 years old and uh, moved to boxing and he fought last Monday so it would be a perfect time to make a video about him and um, yeah there are a lot of other Japanese talented fighters that are coming up right now um, I also have another favorite uh, Yaman but uh, he's still active and also fights for Rice and um, Takeru is also one of my um, favorite ones but uh, in this video we're gonna talk about uh, Tenshin so if you're not uh, subscribed yet to the channel please subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah let's get to the video all right so what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna watch a highlight video of Tenshin and I wanted to show one more video of a fun fact that nobody uh, really knows about him or not that much people uh, yeah he also holds a world record and it doesn't really have to do that much with kickboxing he uh, I think he broke the most baseball bats in one minute uh, with his shin and uh, that's a video we're also gonna watch but first we're gonna watch some highlights of Tenshin I've never seen this video but I have seen a lot of his fights and there's a reason he's one of my favorite kickboxers he has a very good eye um, yeah he's very technical and uh, yeah I really w enjoyed watching him and the reason I say uh, enjoyed is because he um, retired from kickboxing at age 25-26 already to move to boxing and now he's 2-0 and, oh, and last Monday so yesterday he um, made his boxing debut so let's watch some highlights from him in kickboxing okay the music is really shit I can already tell and this is from the beginning of his career I can tell here he's maybe around 18 or 19 because that's when he started at Rise 100. I think that's also his first event. So I think this is a um, build up. Because now it's already Rise is at like 170 already or 172, I think. So it, this has been a while ago. So now the tension is around 18, 19 years old here. And he has an amateur record of 99 and 5. His boxing is so good. His kicking is good. He was really like one of a perfect fighter. And he was also a softball. And that's also one of the reasons I also uh, stand southbound now. I can do both, but it motivated me to go uh, to southbound. And the Rolling Thunder, of course, which he is really famous for, as you can see. He also has around above 45 uh, fights or I think 42 fights he has and he's undefeated of 43 fights something like that and he's undefeated I don't know how much knockouts he has in total but look at this technique he's so precise his accuracy is so good And one of the fights that's in here, I don't think it's in here, but I'm not sure, but he fought against Takeru at uh, the match, which was one of the best fights, or not best fights, but the best grossing uh, uh, 
uh, was at the most attendance and made 25 million just from the gate not even pay-per-view and Japanese kickboxing is really underrated because just look at Tenchi he is not really a star worldwide but he's one of the biggest things in Japan of course and also for this weight he fought at 57 always his career and yeah I think most is because in Europe you don't really have 57 kilos because they're of course a lot bigger than the Japanese fighters but also Takeru is also really a killer tension is more technical but uh, Takeru is a killer has more knockout power look at that and a perfectly placed knee on the liver <laughs> this music does not fit the video <laughs> But I think it's also for copyright reasons. <laughs> because I also, I really wanted to watch uh, his last boxing fight from last Monday, but uh, Top Rank normally copyrights those videos, so I don't think it's possible. But when I find a way to do it, I will definitely do it. But he won by decision last Monday and uh, won all eight rounds. But this music is really like if you would go to a club or something, not really to watch kickboxing. I think my father was at this fight. It was against... Uh, yeah, they call him Mr. Rice who is fighting, so that's what I remember from this fight. So now we're already five minutes in in this video. Just look at his distancing, his distancing is really perfect. Look how he steps out. One more time. Let's put this in slow motion, give me a second. If you really see how perfectly his distancing is. Okay, go back. Look, he perfectly steps out and counts with the left. I think they show it one more time. Oh, only the <laughs> left punch. But he's so precise, he can really read the game like nobody else and that's what made him so good. This is a knockout, right? This is not for Rice because he was contracted by Rice and in Japan it was always uh, Japan... Uh, it was always K1 against Rice. And that's the reason why uh, I talked about uh, the match in um, 2021 or 2022. I don't know how long it is. I think it's I think it's 2021 at the end. Uh, they did uh, K1 versus Rice, and they called it the match. And the main event was Tenshin versus Takeru. They had a rivalry for around five six years, and they could never fight because they could never get it to work. Because K1 didn't want uh, Rice to fight and the, the other way around too. So they organized one event together with Rise in. And uh, there are r rumors that this event will happen again, the match, but then of course with different fighters. But uh, they're, um, I think they're talking about it because sometimes also some Rise fighters also fought at K1 and the different way around too. So I think they're going to keep that concept in to show who is the best in Japan. Even though K1 wants to go worldwide. Look at the speed distancing, it's his positioning. 
he really had everything as a kickboxer. And I really like, normally I was never a big fan of fights in lighter weights, like under the 70, because 70 kilos is also famous. But uh, yeah, 57 kilos in Japan is like one of the best in the world. It's like one of the most exciting divisions. And also to 60 and 63 in Japan, but those are like really underrated worldwide. So I hope they can still showcase the Japanese fighters uh, around the world. Look at this. Done. Look at this. How many times do you see knockouts like this? I think these fights are older again, so I do think they're mixed up. Another KO to the liver. He did not have any weak points. I also saw one video of him when he was younger when I don't know how old he was, I think he was even like 14 or 13 and oh look at this, this is iconic from him and then with the cartwheel kick and what I want to say, uh, when he was like around 14 years old I think he had a good fight already and I don't know if it even was professional or at 14 already uh, but I'm gonna try to look for it after this I don't think this video, this video is only 20 seconds left. Alright, so this was a fight of him in 2012. And that's 11 years ago. Or, well, this is in the 12 months, so a little bit less. But uh, this was Tenshin as an amateur, and then you will see how talented he was. I don't know which year he was born, maybe 98, 99 or something. So, but it's really crazy, like, how good he already was on this age. I don't remember this fight really clearly, but I know it was so dominant that you can really see how good he was. Look at how sharp he is and how dominant from the start. Look at that, you cannot have too many of those, especially as a kid. Look at this. I don't know if it continues after this, but you should really stop this because these kids are like 13, 14 years old and this is not good for your health. I don't think it's very good they wear head guards. But look at this. This is so dangerous, especially in a young age. But look at how good Tenshin was. But I do not think this is very good for a young age. He could have it with his opponent. Yeah, that was a mismatch if you ask me. And now I want to show one more video and that is this one and uh, this is a Guinness World um, Record. Here he's practicing um, breaking as many baseball bats with his shin as he possibly can. And look at this. It's only one minute and I don't know if Guinness can copyright it but look at this, this is really shit. He could have even broken more if the people were um, paying better attention. And how many does he get? He gets... how many does he get? 65. 65 baseball bats in one minute. 
Sometimes I'm thinking what if you put it like in one line and not like that you have to turn around all the time. Would you do it faster or not? That's really one thing I'm asking myself. So yeah but it's really crazy to kick so many baseball bats i mean i've never kicked a baseball bat so i'm pretty curious how hard one is to kick because then she makes it look pretty easy even though you can see his shin here here you can see it is fully red <laughs> which is obvious but yeah here you can see his uh, world record and if you follow Tenshin, um, you can probably maybe already know this or you watch some of his YouTube videos and I think he has it somewhere in the back. So that's very interesting. Alright, and this was the video for today. What do you think of Tenshin and who is your favorite Japanese kickboxer? Please let me know in the comments. But now I would like to thank everybody for watching the video and um, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.